It's been over a decade, but I still feel that like it happened yesterday. Megan Hughes of Ording, Washington is coming forward in a way that she hasn't done before. So I was a teenage girl. The person that was abusing me was in a position of power. When she was 14 years old, she says she was abused by an Ording school teacher. The summer after eighth grade is when he started getting involved with the church. And that's when I started babysitting and spending more time with him outside of school. Um, that's when the tickling started, um, wrestling after babysitting at his house, falling on me, putting his body up against me, little things at first that in your mind, you don't think are serious enough to say anything about. You know you feel uncomfortable, but you don't know it's something that you feel like you should share with your parents. She says when she got to high school, the abuse intensified. When I got into ninth grade and 10th grade, uh, he moved to the high school and started coaching. I joined the girls' basketball team, and he offered private lessons in the morning. He would tickle me on my legs, and then over a few lessons, it started moving up closer to the inside of my thigh, and then within the last two or three lessons, his hands were pressed up against my legs so tightly that I would bruise, and it eventually got to the point where his hands were right up against my genitals. Megan says after that, she avoided him. Actions from somebody that make you uncomfortable or make you feel unsafe are enough to report. I didn't know that when I was that age. She says she told some friends about what happened, but no one in a position of power until an Ording school board member reached out to her back in 2010. I gave my statement and then I was told by the board member I made my statement to that that would be enough and that she would take care of it. So I wiped my hands of it and I just tried to move on. She says last August she went to enroll her daughter in school in Ording and checked to see if that teacher was still working at the high school. And sure enough, he was still there. I know what happened to me. I, that can't be debated in my brain. So for me to give that story, to tell them very clearly what happened to me multiple times and have that not count enough for him to be removed from a position where he could do that again was shocking to me. Megan notified the district and the district hired a third party investigator, but then they came back with nothing. At that point, Megan shared her story on Facebook. It does feel like a sacrifice to share something that's so personal, but I honestly believe that that investigation would not have been relaunched if I didn't make this public. Today, the district came forward to say they've reopened the investigation into sexual assault by a staff member, and that staff member is on administrative leave. If there's women out there or girls who have experienced the same type of trauma, report it. If you don't feel comfortable reporting it to the school directly, report it to a close friend who will. It's really important that we empower these women to say what happened to them. That was Jenna Hanchard reporting. The second alleged victim claims the same teacher sexually assaulted her, but this time when she returned to the school after graduating. Sheridan Mack filed a police report in 2010, saying in 2007 she returned to Ording High School for her brother's graduation when an Ording teacher assaulted her in his classroom. In the police report, it says Mack reported the incident because she was obtaining her teaching degree and she was mandated to report it. After that report was filed, Ording police interviewed the teacher 21 days later. When asked about the incident, the teacher said he knew Mack and did recall the incident. During conversation with police, he said, this is not a school issue since she is over age. Mack was 20 years old at the time of the alleged assault. Police alerted the then superintendent of Ording Schools, as well as the city prosecutor, who did not take the case further because it was past the statute of limitations. So we want to note the police report that we received tonight is incomplete. According to the city of Ording, the handwritten statement originally included in the report by the accused teacher was, quote, not scanned and was maintained in the paper file for this case. The city no longer has the paper file per the local agency retention schedule. Also, the Ording School District is encouraging anyone with information that impacts the safety of students to report it uh, to a link to their Safe School Anonymous reporting tool. Just text the word Ording to 206-448-4545.